I like to say before there was a love affair with automobiles, there was a love affair with trolleys. Virtually everyone rode the streetcars, I would say, in their heyday. In the teens and the 20s, you were developing this flexibility to go anywhere, anytime. You didn't have to look at a schedule and plan your life around the streetcar. The streetcar was simply there. The electric rail was once the fastest and easiest way to travel. Overhead wire and steel tracks reached far out into the countryside, connecting farm towns and creating a maze of lines in the nation's growing cities. It was transit for the masses, cheap, fast, and well used. You had streetcars and you had interurbans and electric trains, and everywhere people would travel, they went by rail. And almost all of it was privately owned, largely by real estate developers and electrical companies. Investment started early in Portland with one of the nation's first and largest systems. The lines formed the city's grid pattern streets, creating thoroughfares and neighborhoods that still exist today. Portland was a streetcar city. The rattle of the cars and the ring of the bell were familiar sounds for decades. And then they went silent. The streetcars disappeared, replaced by automobiles. For nearly half a century, streetcars were abandoned. But today, a streetcar revival is underway, and once again, Oregon is leading the nation. If you want streetcars that are built in the United States, you have to come to us. What's old is new again. 